I'm making a RF sampler for CB work so that I can run a coax from CB out to a dummy load. I got a small box that I built. I just had some old brass laying around. Here's my first attempt. <laughs> and uh, cut that up for the ends. Okay. Now what I got is uh, SO239 and a BNC connector for the output. And I'll run my RF straight through and I'll tap off using a small toroid and a 100 ohm resistor. What we'll do is run that toroid like that. We'll sample off from the throughput RF and we'll go straight to the BNC connector. And there's only five turns of uh, 23 gauge wire so that should be good enough and when I'm done I'll finish soldering up all these seams and close this up into one package as soon as I'm done soldering it in so I gotta do that next but that's how I make a RF sniffer to be able to not put a load on your uh, equipment whenever you're testing it. Well, hopefully you can see it. Pretty simple. Nothing much to it. Just a hundred ohm resistor, five turns of wire on a choke and a straight through solid copper conductor. Some SO239s or whatever you like and then a BNC to take my RF off and take it to the scope so I can check modulation and stuff like that and see my signal a little better without uh, interfering either with the radio putting a load on it and changing the signal or you know, heaven forbid, ruining my oscilloscope. <laughs> so, um, this is a way to sample your RF. And uh, hopefully that takes care of my problem of being able to set my modulation. Pretty simple process. Clamp in place. Do a little soldering. Run a bead. Simple stuff. Close the box in. Get it sealed up. Simple, simple. Well, getting it done. I got one more seam to do. Well, three, I guess. There, there, and there. So I'm going to have to close that up a little bit first before I solder it. Almost done. Not too bad. I think that'll work. That'll do. That'll do just fine. I mean, nice little piece of test equipment now. All sealed up and ready to go. Now, let's see how it works. Okay, I have this hooked up to this CB I want to check. And I'm going to turn on some loud audio. Here we go. That's what it's supposed to do. Show me the modulation carrier and then modulated. Now, of course, I got to do some adjustments 
but you can see the general concept of having this device. It does work. So you can see how it's hooked up to the radio. Just goes out the back and then over to the scope here with this BNC connector. Goes directly into the scope input now. And I don't have to worry about loading this up by using a probe, you know, or, or overloading my front end of my oscilloscope. So that should make things a lot safer and uh, accurate, I hope. Okay, there's another thing you can do with this RF sampler is to use it as an injector. I have a cheap frequency generator. It'll produce a RF frequency plus I can input uh, 1000 Hertz audio into it. Okay, and we have uh, out of focus meter. Let me see if I can do a better job with that. Hang on. Okay, a little better. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. There we go. Now that's coming straight from my generator. That minus 70 dB with a 1000 hertz audio goes right into that RF sampler, which is now an RF injector. Now, it'll be a lot easier to tune your IF section you receive for maximum. I think that'll uh, help somebody somewhere give them an idea that they can do to get a nice signal into their CB for testing. Good luck to you.